Hello. Um, so a slightly different filming location today. Um, I'm at the back of my house in the utility room where I have been incubating some chicken eggs. Um, I started off with seven. Um, I've only got six now because one of them did stop developing on the way. But I'm hoping that in the next two days I should have lots of little chicks for you all to see. So I'm just going to talk you through what I've been doing um, and a little bit about how um, the chicken grows inside the egg. So I got these eggs um, from the childminder who looks after my children. Um, she has um, cockerels and hens on her small farm which um, lay fertilised eggs. So because the cockerel has constant access to the hens, the eggs that are laid um, contain fertilised uh, material, so an embryo, but it's still fine to eat those. They haven't turned into an embryo yet. They're not going to turn into an embryo unless it's put into an incubator, so it's still fine to eat those eggs. But what I did was I took seven of the eggs and I put them into this incubator here. Now the noise that you can hear in the background is my big incubator, which has actually got two goose eggs in, and I will talk to you about those at another time. I'm just sorry about the background noise. So you put eggs into an incubator. Um, you can get different types of incubators. This one's very good because it means that you've got a good viewing platform and you set it all up. So the temperature that the eggs need to be is 37.5 degrees Celsius. And it's really important that they're maintained at that temperature. The mother chicken would sit on them with her body heat and keep them at around that temperature. If they're not kept at that temperature, then they don't start developing. You can keep chickens, um, Sorry, you can keep the eggs in the freeze um, in the fridge for up to a week before you actually start incubating them, um, and they don't start developing until you put them in that warm environment. The other thing that's really important is the humidity. Now I've got a humidity set here, um, just giving me the humidity of the room. Um, the reason I have this here is we've had a couple of power cuts recently, and I just want to make sure that. Um, I'm aware of the outside environment as well, just in case I needed to um, intervene with anything. Now, for the first 18 days of incubation, the humidity of the um, incubator needs to be about 45 to 55%. So just about English weather, really, normal air. As you can see, it's quite humid today, but it ranges between 40 and 60, that, that humidity there. Now, when we reach um, day 18, what we have to do is we have to put the eggs into lockdown. Now, what I've been doing throughout this, and if you've seen on the Twitter, and you can still go and have a look at the Twitter, is I've been candling the eggs. And what candling is, is you take an egg and you put it on this very bright light. And you can see if um, inside the egg there is an embryo developing and as time goes on that gets bigger you can see it moving have a look on twitter at my video um, of one of these eggs um, actually moving on the inside it's amazing um, so we check that they're all still alive and if they are we leave them in the incubator and on day 18 we stop touching everything it stops being turned so normally we would have to turn the eggs lots and lots of times a day um, minimum of five times is what we say but this is an automatic turner so it does it for me every 45 minutes and um, that just mimics what the mother chicken would do so she'd be getting up she'd be rolling the eggs around and making sure that the embryo doesn't stick to the inside of the shell now day 18 we stop turning we stop doing anything and we really increase the humidity so what i did is i took out the automatic turner from inside and I've put down this material here this is um it's like a non-slip um plastic material that you could put um in drawers to stop hands moving around um I cut it out and put it inside so that when the chicks hatch they can grip on if I left it with just the shiny plastic um what can happen is their legs can split apart and they get something called splayed leg um, and it's very difficult for them to develop. So I did that. I took all of the um, rotation stuff out, put that in, and I shut the lid. I also increased the humidity, and I did that by tipping some more water into the central um, humidity um, pot in the middle. You can see there's some sort of 
condensation around the outside, giving me a good indication that the humidity has gone up. Now, it's really important that I keep that humidity high. I've got a jug of water here, and every time I come past, I just keep topping up the um, water to make sure that the humidity is high. For the eggs to hatch successfully, I want the humidity to be about 65 to 70%, which is much more humid than it has been. And the reason for this is once the chicks get their beak through um, the shell, they then have a rest because that takes quite a lot of energy. And what can happen if the air is too dry for them, the um, membrane actually sort of shrink wraps around them and it, it, they can't breathe anymore and they don't hatch. So it's really important we don't open this. Even if one chick is hatched, we leave it shut. We're going to leave it until all of them have hatched or I can see no more signs that they're going to hatch. So if I've got any cracks in shells, I will not open this incubator to take out the chicks. I hope that you're going to be able to tune in um, to my live stream and actually watch some of the chicks hatching. Um, I'm going to try and video it as well. I'm very excited. And um, hopefully we should see some chicks being born live on camera. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yes, the last thing. Don't worry about the chicks being left in there if you tune in and you see. Um, lots of chicks inside. Um, it's not that I've forgotten about them. I'm deliberately leaving them in there. They can survive for three days without um, any food or water. It's really important that we don't open the incubator because it will stop any of the other chicks from hatching. We could kill them by doing so. So we leave them in there. We wait for them to fluff up. They've absorbed all of the yolk from inside the egg. They've got full of nourishment that way. They're hydrated and they are not needing any food yet. As soon as they're all fluffed up, all, five, all six of them, hopefully, fingers crossed, have hatched, then I will take them out and I'll put them into a brooder, which I'll talk to you a little bit more about next time I see you. So this is my setup and we're going to begin looking at the chickens in a little bit more detail and you need to start understanding their life cycle.